What's happening? You get the virtual gaming hippie. And yes, I'm coming at you today from, as you can see, the toy room. I decided to do a video on show you guys some of the things that I picked up in the last two or three months ago uh, or so at various uh, places such as thrift stores, one of my local game stores, or even a trade show that we had a few months back with a group here uh, in the Portland area that I belong to that's a bunch of folks that uh, like to collect toys and merchandise and a lot of the same things that I do. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, we'll start with that trade show where this was pretty much a trade show. You could buy stuff, but for the most part, people were trading. So I made a couple trades there and I picked up some great items. And first off, we'll start with wrestling. I picked up some uh, Galoob figures. These are from uh, circa 1990. Scott Steiner, Rick Steiner, Sting, who I've never seen wrestle, really, but I've read about in magazines. I like the surfer Sting and a belt. And then a little bit of a later line, Ric Flair from uh, the uh, mid-90s. I think that's that San Francisco toy maker. These were the Hasbros, which are just part of my collection to give you a little scale. I from the same time frame. They're made out of the hard plastic. So they really didn't have any action or play to them, much like the old AJN WWF figures that I like, but much firmer plastic than those rubber things. Upgraded my lunchbox to a Pac-Man lunchbox. I do have an A-Team lunchbox, but I wanted a Pac-Man one instead. No thermos, good condition. I still use it for work. couple of comics. I'm not a comic guy, but if it's Mario or Nintendo or things of that nature, I'll get into the comics. So Super Mario World and a Captain N, which was also a cartoon. Same with Mario back then. Hit my D&D stride. This guy always has great things at our event. I won't say names, but uh, this is an old electronic D&D board game that works just fine. Not board game, you know, is the, not the right word, but it's complete. Works great. And a couple of more modern things. I just like little animatronic toys. I love horror. So a little Friday the 13th. And a little Freddy Krueger. And those were all the items that I traded for that particular event. Great event. And I uh, look forward to the next one, the next couple of months, and see if I can unload some of my other items and find some great stuff. Then I made my way down to a, a relatively new thrift store in my area for me and found some old, great wrestling stuff. You can see some of them behind me. There are some posters that are double-sided. If you want to know who that is, if you can't see, just ask me in the comments. But they had about... Uh, 25, 30 more uh, wrestlers from the 80s, uh, 82, 83, 85 time frame, I would say. A couple of magazines from that time frame, which I, I collect. And then they had a whole bunch of older Portland wrestling stuff that um, I don't really collect. It's a little bit before my time. It was from the 60s or 70s. But I went in and picked that up, and I traded it to a person in another local Portland wrestling group here from stuff from my era, including these wrestling bulletins which was something that were probably sold at the Portland Sports Arena during those events, and I never got to see these before. So they're really cool to, to get. And probably one of the most iconic Portland thing, the Portland uh, Tom Peterson Wrestling Coloring Book, which I'm sure he sold at his stores that I never went to. And some drawings of wrestlers. Some of you might recognize, some I don't. And the same thrift store also had some uh, great stuff kind of along the comic line, but more I just like to collect certain areas and realms of things. But they had this sweet Battlestar Galactica activity book that hasn't been really used, and so now I can play it myself. I love Battlestar Galactica. A movie I recently revisited that is a lot better than I remember as a kid is the comic book adaptation of The Black Hole. As a kid, I didn't dig that movie, but when I saw it again as an adult, it's a pretty good film. I recommend going back and see it. And I need to do that with this film, probably, Dragon Slayer. This came out in, like, 1982. Comic book adaptation. I remember as a kid thinking it really wasn't that sword and sorcery like I wanted to see. Now, I don't know if this was first a comic or a toy, but the saga of Kristar, number one. And as a kid growing up, I had every single Kristar action figure play set, the castle, the dragons, 
the catapult set that you could buy. So I had it all. And that castle is a really, really hard piece to find nowadays. It was very, very uh, well designed, or not well designed. A Buck Rogers comic book. This is based on the film, which I've never actually seen the film. I watched the TV show, but the film actually was in 1979, I think, in the movie theater. But this is a comic book adaptation of the film. And last but not least from there, Atari Force 1, 2, and 4, which is an old comic book based on Atari that I've never read. And then another thrift store that I like to frequent here, I picked up a few things. Some Garbage Pail Kid cards because they're neat. Two Star Wars or Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. These are the 33rd records and books and they work just fine. And then they had a whole bunch of Mad Magazines, which I don't collect Mad Magazines. That's not my thing, but I will pick up ones such as a Mario edition or Wrestling edition, as I did here. And last but not least, I actually hit up one of my favorite game store, SideQuest Games. It picked up a few knickknacks there that I do from time to time, including a new RPG, Dragon Warrior NES, to give a go at. The instruction manuals for a, a WCW wrestling game that I have the game, but not the manual. And then Commodore 64 Archive, of course. This is just a uh, instruction guide for a program or something. I don't know. It was basically a quarter. And it's Commodore 64. So those are some things that I picked up in the last few months. Let me know what you think in the comments about those things. Maybe you remember having those items as a kid. I also did pick up, I forgot to mention, a large lot of LJN D&D &D figures, but I think I'll do a separate little video about those somewhere down the road. But I certainly upgraded my collection of those. So remember, I'm the Retro Gaming Hippie. I don't buy nostalgia because I am nostalgia.